Jesus. Zelo shuta la la bale ketele be shuta da ba. Ambra kento lo so tombe le shuta da ba lia. Irado kanto lo so tombe le hiri be le shuta da ba. Father, we worship you this morning. Father, we adore you this morning. Thank you, Lord Jesus. 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 Zelo huram de brihin de la shotana valeri aba. Ebro kanta la shatan de brihin te le shetere beli aba. Rade kata la shakata la kato se de bele ke te le de beli aga bada. Azule he glendosh kanta bara da bada. Father, we worship you this morning. We thank you. I know the name of the Lord. Father, we say thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Zelo shatan da barande kwente sheke de beli da ba. Vara, we thank you. Father, we give you all the glory. Lift up your hand and say thank you, Jesus, for another time with God, for another time to come and hear his word, to come and pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Mm. James chapter 5. James chapter 5. We're going to pray. We're going to use verse 17 and 18. James chapter 5, verse 17 and 18 said, Elisha was a man subject to a like passion as we are, and he prayed earnestly that it might not rain. And it rained not. Mm. He prayed earnestly that it might not rain. <laughs> no, he doesn't pray that there should not be rain. He said, he prayed earnestly that it might not. You know, what I've come to understand in life is this. If your heart is right and you can vocalize what you want, God is committed to perform it. If your heart is right and you can say what you want, then God is committed to what? To perform it. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So this morning we want to pray. Father, let your blessing come upon us. It's a most of our blessing. And one of the ways you can you can get your blessing, you know, Jesus said, Lord, Lord, He said, I will not let you go. Unless you bless me. He wrestled, and the name was changed. When the name was changed, it became not just a person, but a nation. Praise the Lord. It became what? Not a person, but a nation. So we pray this morning anything that is stopping God's blessing upon our life, anything that is stopping God's plan and purpose in our life, we put our name to them. Let the blessing of God come upon us in the mighty name of Jesus. Join me, let us begin to pray right now, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your blessing come upon us. In Jesus' mighty name. Let your blessing come upon us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let your blessing come upon us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let your blessing come upon us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let your blessing come upon us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let your blessing come upon us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let your blessing come upon us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let your blessing come upon us. In the mighty name of Elijah prayed that it might not rain and there was not rain. So when we pray, God will bless us, God will bless us. God will confirm what we what 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 we affirm. God will confirm what we affirm. God will confirm what we affirm. God will ne- what you affirm will never be confirmed. What you don't affirm will never be confirmed. It is what you affirm that God confirmed in the mighty name of Jesus. Lama Bush Kentalaru Sandaya Bada. Father, we thank you. Thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. As you are prayed today, so shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Please take your seat. This morning, within the next 30 minutes, I'll be taking you, taking us through what I titled Understanding the Prayer That Changes Things. Understanding the prayer that changes in Matthew chapter 6, please, from verse 6 to 7. Please, I want somebody to have to open the scripture and time so you can. That's going to help a lot. Amen. But you, 
-hmm. When you pray, it was you when you pray. Go into your room. Yes. And when you have shut your door, mm -hmm. pray to your father. Yes. Who is in the secret place? Yes. And your father, who is in the secret place? But you. you, when you pray, not if you. So things only happen when. So prayer is not an assumption. Prayer is not an uh, uh, a choice. Prayer is a must. And one of the ways you have to pray is that prayer simply means communicating to God based on His Word, taking God's Word back to Him on the altar of prayer. God was speaking to Prophet Isaiah and said, Come, let us reason together. That's prayer. In Genesis chapter 1, verse 2, verse 26, Come, let us make my now image. God was talking. You know, prayer means in, in, in law, the, the lawyer will go to judge. He said, Judge, I pray you, I pray thee, I pray unto thee. Prayer simply means you are making your, your, your judgment to be heard. You are making your, your point to be listened to. And for every of your requests to be granted. So if you don't pray, you don't have a point. You don't have a case. And if there's no, your case is not well padded with some, with some judgment that has been before. That is the scripture. Amen. <laughs> That's so you have to understand this, the prayer that what that changes things. One of the things that I wrote down here is that uh, if you don't pray like a prayer warrior, you will soon hang like a life. You will soon hang your life in horror. If you don't pray like a prayer warrior, you don't pray gently, you, you pray a prayer of a warrior. Amen. Amen. If you don't pray like a warrior, what happened? You will soon end your life, what? In horror. Horror in trouble. Praise the Lord. Prayer is a way that makes us to take the best from the vine of a tree. You know, we are just like a branch. Anytime we depart from the tree, we lose the nutrient. And when the branch of a tree is you know, lost, that means there is no more flow. So prayer is what connects us to God. Where can we find that? Can somebody open John chapter 15, please? John chapter 15, please. Praise the Lord. John 15. Yes. Yes, please. And the true vine. Yes. And my father is the vine dresser. Do you see that? Go ahead. Go every ahead. Branch, every branch in me mm -hmm. that does not bear fruit, it takes away. And every branch that bears fruit, it pumps. It pumps. That yes. it may bear more fruit. More, so, we, it's prayer is what helps us to connect so we can do the will of God. God will empower us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So, let me give us uh, some nuggets about prayer. I'm going to be very brief this morning. We are coming back in the evening. Prayer is the rule of the game of life. You have to understand it. If it is one minute, pray. If it is five minutes, pray. Don't be locked with one hour prayer. It's good. Jesus Christ said, uh, uh, he said, won't you pray with me for one hour? Can't you wait for me for one hour? So every believer is expected to give one hour prayer every day. Amen. Amen. But if you said you cannot, you know, Jim Ross says something a bit of me. And Brian Trace said something a long time ago. He said, uh, <laughs> he said, if the rule is 70, 10, 10, 10, we're talking about finances, that every money you make in your life, make sure you only spend 70% of it. The remaining 30, you should save 10%, 10% go to God, and 10% to help put him back in the other business. Amen. He said, but if you can't start that way, if your expenses have eaten up you, have, or have, have eaten you up, and you can only spend, you should make sure that you start with one, save one. Prayer is the rule of the game of life. If you don't know how to play it, you're going to lose. That will not be your prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. A good prayer life is not once and for all, but once and again. You don't pray now, you say you don't need to pray again. No, you pray and pray, and pray, and pray, and pray, until you get results. Listen to this. 
Anytime you don't get results, it means you have not prayed. Did anybody hear what I said? Anytime you don't get the result that you want, it means you have not prayed. God is, <laughs> God is not a man. He has here, he will hear you. It's not like any other God who has hands that they can't use. Mouth. No, God speaks. God hears. God has everything. That's why he said, come, let us make man in our image. Amen. If you are making the image of God, then when you pray, when, when people communicate with you, you listen, you hear, then you talk about the same thing. Another thing I want you to know, even as I'm trying to, you know, do an introduction, is that uh, the prayer that you pray today is what we give you, what we make you a triumphant tomorrow. The prayer that you pray today is what we make you what? A triumphant. If you don't pray today, you might, there's the likely you're going to be a super competitor. Competition in your life. So it's, it's simple. The prayer that you don't pray today, it won't make you a loser tomorrow. It's simple. That's why I understand the Bible. I just reverse it. You might think that I know that you are it. Are you adding to the word of God? No, I'm not. But or if you don't understand the word of God, there's any chances that it will never work for you. You, when you pray. When you pray, not if you pray. It's not a choice. A good believer. Don't. Let me tell you something. There is nothing that differentiates you from one believer. When you give your life to Christ, you still have your legs, you still have your hand, everything is the same, right? So the only thing that makes you to produce more to live a supernatural life is when you connect to the supernatural. Amen. Your connection of your source, where you are drawing from, is what separates you from the crowd. I will say that again. The source where you are drawing from is what separates you from what? From the crowd. If you are not drawing, let's say, everybody is making money. Okay, somebody called me that he give them, his monthly salary was 50,000 naira. And, uh, because it works, they can call it to work anytime. They are giving them that kind of, uh, you know, inconvenience pay. They call it extra 30000 So when you get to a particular time, the company realize that they don't need to be calling them to come and work anytime again. So the company remove that 30000 Do you know what happened? So the guy has been living his life on 80000 Now his money has gone back to normal, what? 50000 Is that a reality? <laughs> Let me tell you something. If you don't get ready by prayer, you will know that life is tough more than perfect. I pray every arrow that is fired on you to lose your prayer altar, may that arrow go back to sender. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Prayer is not a mutual relationship between men and God, but a consistent practice with expectation. You don't just pray because you want to pray. You pray because you want to go and get a result. It's not a mutual relationship. Okay, God, God, God. Are we still here or we are doing something else? Amen. Amen. Prayer is not a mutual relationship. So, okay, I want to go and talk to God. Uh, no. Prayer is a constant practice with what? With full expectation. Because God is not a man that should lie. Anytime we come to him with the mindset that we want to go and meet our daddy for results. I you know what happened? A good father will do everything to give to his own children the good thing. When he knows that thing is good for them, he's going to give it to them. Mm. When he knows that thing is good for them, he's going to give it to them. Matthew chapter 7, verse 11, please. He said, if you being evil can give good gifts to your children. If you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your if children. If you that are sinner, that you are incomplete, you that you don't have the capacity to do what I can do, you that you don't create heaven and hell, can think in your human capacity to know that this is my son, this is my daughter, this is my wife, this is my sibling. I need to be responsible to them. God is speaking through the documentation of Matthew about Jesus that if you be evil, 
know how to do good things, how much more would your heavenly father give to them, anybody that was, that has for the Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is a gift. So when you go to God in prayer, you are actually taking, what is gift? Gift is what you don't pay for, that somebody give to you, knowing that you need, or that will make you happy. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. That your prayer altar will come back alive in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. Uh, prayer altar will come back alive in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. Zechariah chapter 12, verse 10. It is called the spirit of grace and supplication. Zechariah 12, 10. It is called what? It is spirit. If you don't have that spirit, you will doze off. And if you don't fire up the spirit, the fire will go. And I will pour, out, and I will pour on the house of David yes. and on the inhabitants of Jerusalem the spirit yes. of grace and supplication. The, the spirit of grace then and supplication. they will look on me, <laughs> whom they pierce. Yes, they will mourn for him as one mourns for his own the son. The spirit of what? For him of and grace for and supplication. The spirit of grace and supplication the spirit of grace and supplication the spirit of grace and supplication the spirit is a spirit a spirit of grace and supplication it's a spirit the spirit of grace it's a spirit i decree right now in the mighty name of jesus may that spirit come upon your life in the mighty name of jesus Amen. Briefly in this evening, I'm going to tell you what I discovered something. You know, the prayer that you pray in general, if you really pray it well, it can sustain you throughout the year. You know, there's some seed. One of the seed months is the month of January. You sow a seed. So what happened is that why do we pray in February? Why do we continue prayer in March? Why can't us take a break in April about prayer? Why do we think prayer is still necessary in May? Why do you think without June, July, August, when we don't pray, we will not get the best of life? Why is that August, September, October, November, December, we see me prayer? Why? Any seed that you sow that is not well cultivated, not water, not watch, you wait. You will take the garden. The tongue will take the garden. Why do we continue? You pray to pray. We continue to pray and pray because when men slept, what happened to them? The enemy came. Praise the Lord. Amen. I decree upon our life that everything that is fighting our prayer life, may God give you forgive, send them out of our way in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. May God send them out of our way in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let me take us through Leviticus chapter 6. Six. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Let's go chapter six, the river, verse uh, I think uh, twelve and thirteen. It said, "And the fire upon the altar shall be burned in it; it shall not be put out." Mm. The fire upon the altar shall be what? Born in it. It shall not be put out. So, it is not the fire that starts that can't. It is the continuous fire that makes life relevant. It is not your prayer life that can't. It is a continuous prayer that can't. Amen. Amen. It's not the prayer that counts, but it's a continuous prayer that does. It's not prayer that counts, but it's a continuous prayer that does. The, the fire that we are talking about must keep burning. It must keep burning. You don't need to go and need for one hour to pray, but we are going to walk Lebra Handala Shatanaba. Father, I know as I go today, no evil is permitted in my way. 
Embra andale sontore bra andala sonte libra e kataba. Oh God, anyone that has been marked for death but for evil today. To be an agent to stop your plan and purpose in my life will not come to work. Amen. Zala, bring Antolo Shekotole, bring Interlabada. Anyone that the enemy has you want to use as a tool today to take my life, to make me to have part, to be part of a bad news, Lord, I send them on a different offer, Amen. on a different mission, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You know, let me tell you something. What people don't know that what happened is in, in on the way to Damascus, it was a prayer that some people prayed. Paul was on a mission to kill a Christian. And some people on a mission to read. You know, it was on the same mission for what? Same journey, different mission. That's why I call it. Same journey, different mission. If you don't pray, enemy will win. It's not that, you know, one of the popular, powerful man of God that I respect so much died a long time ago. And I would say, God, how would you allow a man like this to die? God told me, I can't forget. He said, What you have that you don't activate will never be useful to you. Oh, I wish somebody can write it down. <laughs> no, no, you are Zoom. In the school of, 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 of results, assumption is the mother of frustration. You never assume it, you never imagine it, you do it. It is the doing. In the school of life, it is in doing. School of life requires action. action. When action is not there, <laughs> results will be far from it. God is not a man that is alive, but man is not a God that will never understand. Right? Just like that. Hey, hey, why is this happening? No, it's happening because you don't do what you're supposed to do. There are some things you should activate. If it's not activated, it's useless. Right? Just like that. If it is not activated, it is useless. If it is not activated, it is useless. Activation is what makes life useful. If it is not activated, it is useless. If it is not activated, it is useless. Prayer it needs, uh, you know, what we, the purpose of prayer, prayer is the, is what empowers us to put on the button that is necessary. There's so many, there's a button for prosperity. Button for healing, button for success in life, button for success in marriage, button for good family life, button for excellence in ministry, button for excellence in life. When the capacity to go to the other and turn the button on, it will never be done. Powerful computer that is not plugged. The capacity of new iPhone 11 with all the gadget that is not plugged to charge. Prayer is what activates things. And activation is what brings what? Usefulness. You can be a child of a pastor. It doesn't matter. You can be a pastor himself. It does not matter. You can be a first lady. It does not matter. You can be PK. It does not matter. If you don't pray, you are vulnerable for attack. It is not in your personality. It is in your activation. It's not in your personality. It is in your activation. Amen. Amen. What you don't activate with what will never be useful to you. Activation brings usefulness. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's go back to that next course. Chapter 12. Leviticus chapter 6, verse 12. It says, And the fire upon the altar shall be burning wet. It shall not be put out. Did you see that? Emphasis. It shall not, it shall not, it shall not be put out. The priest shall burn the wood on it every morning. Upon this, we're going to declare, Amen, a seven days. Prayer for total restoration. Seven days prayer, total restoration. Seven days prayer, total restoration. And, uh, you know, it's going to be powerful. So, I don't know. I mean, it's going to be from uh, 12, 12, uh, 12 noon every afternoon. Amen. And we're going to do another one, 7 p.m. every evening, twice a day. 
seven days prayer of restoration. Everything that has been stolen in your life shall be returned with speed. Amen. You know, one of the things as as police officer to a city, so is prayer to your life. They hunt after the enemy. They chase after the after after, after, after the people who want to break into your life. May God give us understanding in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Seven days total restoration prayer. Is it real? Can somebody write it down, please? I need it immediately after this to give somebody to the land. Seven days. And the, and the Leviticus chapter 6, verse 12 to 13 is going to be the scripture. Amen. Leviticus. Leviticus chapter 6, 12 to 13. Amen. Amen. He said, the, the priests are born on it every morning and lay the burnt offering in all up upon it. And it shall burn thereon the fat of the peace offering. The fire shall ever, verse 13, the fire shall ever, the fire shall ever, ever, the fire shall ever, the fire shall ever, ever be burning upon the altar. It shall never go out. Did you see that? Because let me tell you something. Any, no matter, you buy a new car with a new tire. Any time there is a punch on that tire, what happened? The air goes out. When the air goes out, this is what happened. A good tire makes every load easy. When the tire is well gauged, the, the necessary air is in the tire, it has the capacity to lift the weight of the car. You remember the other bike we brought yesterday? My son was trying to my son was trying to ride his bike and it was a force, he couldn't ride it. What happened? We brought the, another bike. He could ride that easily. So while I was checking here, I realized that the tire of that bike is broke. That's life. Bad tire <laughs> bring in Mubebu bike. Your life is a bike. It is prayer that makes it move. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. I pray God will give us understanding in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You know, this is not just what you anybody wants. This is just yes, the Lord. It's a time to pray. We pray for a change of story. We pray for family establishment. We pray for peace of our Jerusalem. We pray for the hand of God. We pray for Nigeria that church will be open. Anyone that is being used like an like a agent of the kingdom of darkness, we shut their intention down. Their purpose is thwarted in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. It shall not go out. It shall not go out. It shall not go out. It shall not go out in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Five things you need to know about prayer. One, prayer changes situation. Five things you need to know about prayer. Prayer what? It changes situation. Number one. Number two. Prayer changes your life. Paul, that was known as a killer, when, when he prayed and God sent a man to come and lay hands on him, he gave his life and everything turns. His situation, he, he left to, he stopped, he ceases to be a killer and now become an evangelist, an apostle. T taking the same message that he was, you know, they call it the way. The way that he was condemning before, God made him to be the person channeling the power in the way. Can I tell you something? <laughs> Anyone that ever said no to you, by the reason of this seven days prayer, they will begin to come under their knee begging you. Amen. Paul, who was against the way, the gospel of Jesus Christ, he became the leading force of the way. That means there is nobody God cannot use if there is somebody to pray. Oh, nobody write it down. There is nothing God can use. Animate, inanimate things. It does not matter. It just came to me right now that uh, when, when Moses was saw the burning bush, the fire was consuming, the burning bush was not consuming. And when Moses said, I will turn. Let me tell you something. Prayer is taking responsibility to turn. What is God saying? The so prayer changes, it changes the situation. The situation of Paul was changed because he prayed. And number two, 
Prayer changes your life. You can't be a prayer force and things not change. Number three, prayer changes people. When a man's way pleases the Lord, he makes even his enemy. God is one that makes his enemy the one to be at peace. What does that mean? The heart of the king is in God's hand. When you pray, God will press the button of the king to stop you. When you pray, God will touch the king to support you. When you pray, kings will be looking for you. Ah, haven't you read? Ezekiel chapter 18 verse 4. He said, the soul of the father and the soul of the son are mine. Every soul belongs to me. It does not hand there. It's in Psalm 24 verse 1. The earth is the Lord and his fullness there of the world. That, oh, 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 it's not a human being. Mm. The heart of the king is in the end of God. Like the river of water, he turns into wherever he wills. So, you know what I'm saying? When you pray the prayer that you need to pray, your will will be accepted to God and God will turn anything to be in support of you. So, shout out to you. so prayer changes situation, changes life, your life, your life as the person that prays. Prayer changes people who are for or against you to support you. Number four, prayer changes your circumstances. Even, you know, I've seen a lot of people. When somebody is American, doesn't mean that person is a billionaire. Anytime you drop, that was a one to a man who trusts him. I have to look for him in January, January 17 or 7. 17, 7 or 17, 6. He said, one to a man who trusted him. He said, that man will never see when he goes is passing by. How will you? I, I, I don't know how people think. <laughs> Carry yourself well. Respect yourself. Don't make somebody's your problem somebody's problem. You're stopping them, asking them for help. No, 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 you don't need to do that. When you when you pray enough, men will be touched. You know, well, there's an article I want to make sure I write it today. I said, my ten destiny ever. How everything connects. You know, you find it? Jeremiah 17, 5. Yes, ma'am. Don't say the Lord. Don't say the Lord. The man. Yes. Who trusts in man? Who trusts in man? And makes flesh his strength. He makes flesh his strength. He turns away from the Lord. Yes. Go ahead. Go ahead. Praise the Lord. For it shall be like a shell yes. in the desert. Yes. And shall not see when good comes. It shall. You don't see that? But shall it not be. Hey! 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 You don't see that? Including your father. Is there not nothing, man? Including your mother. Including your siblings. God is not saying why? Because that you are saying God is not enough. Anytime you say God is not enough, man will never be in support of you. Right just like that. If you say God is not enough, man will never come to your rescue. If you say God is not enough, man will never come to your rescue. If you call, if you say God is not enough, God is ever ready ever able, ever willing. But you need to turn to him. I'm going to read Isaiah chapter 38. When Ezekiel was sentenced to death. And why is that God reversed it to another 7, 15, 15 years of life? You don't understand what you are missing, trusting man. Cause is that man who trusted man. Read verse, um, the, the, verse 6. Read verse 6 again, please. For it shall be like a shrub. It shall be like a shrub. In the desert. In the desert. It shall not see when good comes. It will not see when good comes. It shall not be, shall be like the what? It pass the shrub in the desert. It, you don't see that? You see, it will not see when good comes. Some people trust in their husband. Fake wife. Some husband trust in their wife. Fake husband. Some children trust in their parents. Fake children. Some, some parents trust in their children. Fake. No, I just wrote an article seven lesson that I learned from my mother. As I'm, I, I, you know, can you imagine I'm in Okera? 21 Record Street, Okera, Obagula, Abeshi, Bust of Lagos, Nigeria, West Africa, and the world. That's where I am right now. Can you imagine that? Write it down. Everything you surround yourself with now will be little to nothing what God will give you if you can pray. Somebody's house, somebody's car, all this. Uh, you know, can you imagine that? The car that mommy bought, that was when I was trusting her. I I bought that car. <laughs> Can you imagine? I never see my daddy ride the car. 
But my mother bought the car. And when she passed on, everybody was saying, hey, 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 nobody can take the car. I said, okay, how much is the car? They said, 120,000. Okay, let's buy it. I give every one of you 10,000 each or something. I don't know how much I I just I bought the car. I said, hey. I don't, I don't I, this message will be listened to forever. Don't ever. Don't ever. I don't care who that man is. We respect man. We honor man. We follow man. Yes. Men will speak for you. But let me tell you something. If you can pray, God will step in into the situation of your life. Maybe we should stop there. Cost is that man. Can you help me read it? Who trusts in man? Thus says the Lord. Yes. Cost is that Cost man. Is that man. Who trusts in man? Who trusts in man? Flesh is strength. Even flesh is strength. It departs from the Lord. It departs from, is that depart from the Lord, right? Departs from the Lord. Yes. For he shall be like a shrub. Yes. In the desert. In the desert. And shall not see. He when will not come. see when good comes. But shall inherit the parched place. Oh of the my God. In a oh God. land which is not inhabited. Oh my. You, you will not believe. My daddy can never do something. You know, I've met, and like I said, I'm trying, I'm trying to put it together. Ten destiny ever. My dad, we have, we have never sit together for something. But he led me to one uh, network marketing company. That is where I started my speaking life and my writing. That is where I met one guy called Joseph um, Kyle De Usu. He's the one that first gave me Papa book, Breaking Financial, uh, Breaking Financial Achieve. Listen to that. I started listening to Bishop, Bishop Aboye, Dignity of Labor. Bishop Aboye led me. See, when I followed the Dignity of Labor, I went to go and I went to Winners. That's where I, I met Papa. <laughs> you know, from Papa, I met no to no Jim Ron. Jim Ron, you know, my wife, my wife, yeah, everything is just okay, okay, you know, all other. Men are good, but God is better. Men are good, but God is better. If you think, oh, you no, know, let me tell you something. Can you imagine I'm trusting my dad now that the past 2009? Can you imagine I'm trusting my mother who passed on five years after? You will never know what you are missing. Knocking men's door all the time, he's talking there. No one. Let me tell you something. God told me a long time ago before my mother died because I put, if anything I need, if I go to her, she will just make it happen for me. I'm, I was the, now I'm the only son. And one day, the Lord told me, a long time ago, he opened my eyes to Isaiah 42, help me to read it. Verse 8. See what is there. God was, he said, I'm a jealous God. You know, that's not what he bad. But he said, he said, God, I never, am the Lord. I am the Lord. That I will is not, my name. Yes. And my glory I will not my give to any of them. I will not give. No, my praise to God. He party. said, I will kill your mother. You know, you will see where you're going to get. I said, oh, no. That was the day I turned back. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let me just give us one, two, three points and we just go. Amen. Praise the Lord. Number one, I think you need to know about prayer. What prayer changes situation? Mm. Number two, prayer changes your life if you pray. Prayer changes people who are for or against you. A prayer changes situation, the circumstances of your life. And um, prayer is what that makes you. It, make, it takes your, your, your matter to be ultimate. Ultimate. Mm. Ultimate. It makes it priority. It expedites it. God, this will be done now. No, this must be done now, Lord. Lebra Kentala, this must be done now, 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 now. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let me round up this morning by giving you why do you need prayer? Five things. Or maybe I should do one more thing. One more thing that I want to say. Why do I need prayer? One, you need prayer to fortify your life. Like prayer builds wall that has that <laughs> mountain surrounds his people. Mountain, what is mountain? A place of prayer. Surround wall is people. Is that Psalm 125, please? As mountain surround is people. Can you confirm me Psalm 125, verse 1? As mountain surrounds its people. Uh, those, who trust the Lord those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, like Mount Zion who, cannot be moved, who cannot be moved, but abides forever. But abides forever. As the mountains surround But 2 of 125, as mountains so surround What is mountain? People say, I'm going on mountains. I want to go and pray. So when you pray, you are surrounded. 
No, somebody should write it down. When you pray, you are what? That's why I call it um, prayer fortified. It, it, it covers you up. Number two. Prayer consecrates you unto God. You can't be a prayerful person and be singing at the same time. <laughs> Do you know why people sing? They're out of prayer. Because, you know, he said, if by acting iniquity, look for that scripture in the psalm, David was saying, he said, if by acting iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. So, before you come to the prayers of God, what happened? You come with a clean hand. Psalm 24. He said, Who are the one that can I send to you? He said, He has a clean hand and a pure heart. Right? Psalm 139, verse 23. Yes. Teach me, O God, and know yeah. my heart. Try yeah. me and know my anxiety. Yeah. And see if there is any wicked way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. Yeah, that's good, but that's not what I'm looking for. He said, if there's, a, if there's any iniquity in me, the Lord will not hear me. That's good. I like that too. But what I'm trying to say is this. If you are a prayerful person, you will see that you will depart from sin. Do you know why people smoke? Do you know why people drink? They don't, no, there is a vacuum in a man's life that nothing can fill it in life. Your wife cannot, your children cannot. If you are single, you think you need marriage. When you're married, you are in trouble. When you are, you are, married, you are married now, no kid, that's the problem. When you marry, you are God. We need money to take care of them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Human being was, economy said, human being was are what? Inside you. You cannot feel it. The only thing that can fill you up is God. And why do we pray? We pray to retain our relationship with God. So, prayer consecrates you <laughs> unto God. Number three, prayer it makes you to escape accusation. Because therefore we accuse you all the time. But you know what happened? When you do something wrong, do you know where you're supposed to go to? Did you find it? Yes. yes. Psalm 66, 66 verse 18. Yes, that's it. If I regard iniquity in, in my heart, heart, the Lord will not hear me. The Lord will not hear me. So when the Lord hears me, that means there's no iniquity, right? It's so simple. Let's move to the next one. If you want to escape accusation, condemnation, eh, go and pray. Because as a believer, when you have done something wrong, you know what people say? Oh, devil will tell you that, ah, look at what you have done. God will never have you. That was the mistake of Adam. He does not know that. That God is a good, good father. <laughs> Who you are, right? He's a good father. When you fail, fail to the prayer altar. When you fail, fail. David said, Lord, have mercy upon me, oh Lord, according to your loving kindness, according to your uh, tender mercy. Blot out my, my iniquity. Psalm 51, from verse 1, please. He said, Do not take the Holy Spirit away from me. That is prayer. Have mercy upon have me, Have mercy Lord. upon me, oh Lord. According to your loving kindness, according to your tender mercy, yes. Blot out my Do you know what you mean of that? Vacuum the, the, the sin away from my life. <laughs> sin has come to death in my life. Vacuum it away. Blot out my transgression. Go ahead, please. According to the multitude, according to the loving, have mercy upon me, O God, according to your loving kindness, according to the multitude of attendant mercy. Blot out my transgression. Blot out, out my transgression. And cleanse me from my sin. Cleanse me from my sin. You know, that's one of the things, you know, I'm not saying you should be falling to sin. Because what do you call it? Romans chapter 6 verse 1. It says we can't be continuing in, in iniquity and we have to God the message of our life. Right? But in case you mistakenly step into a wrong place, pray loud, oh Lord, have mercy upon me. Devil will tell you you are not qualified. Tell devil it's not qualified. He will tell you how. He said, Devil, listen, I can I can repent, right? But the repentance of the devil will still lead him to hell. He's the only person that has been judged. You, whatever you do, you can still come to God. But whatever the devil does, no matter how the repentance of them, we still going to be hell. So when he reminds you of your wrong, remind him. If he reminds you of your now, remind him of what? Of his future. So the devil, I thank you that uh, when I've done this thing and I know I'm wrong. Uh, I know, but the Lord told me that... Uh, 
Anyone that has the word of God does not sin. So that means there's a place of forgiveness for me. So God, thank you because you're forgiving me. But the devil, can I remind you something? That you're going to hell anyway. <laughs> Let me tell you something. If you don't know how to talk back, you'll be talked down. Long time the Lord told me this. No? It's God that inspired me. Because most of the time when I talk, my wife will say, hey, baby, who are you talking to again? And this is what I said. When you hear who you, we people cannot see, you should talk loud to people who will be asking you, who you are you speaking to? Then we continue to say all kind of manner. But you know what happened? When you hear who you cannot see, people cannot see. What happened? Talk loud. So, so people will be asking you, who are you referring to? Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. So why do we pray? You pray to fortify yourself. You pray to consecrate yourself. You pray to escape condemnation. And you pray to build confidence. Build confidence. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16. Place of grace that we obtain help for this in time of day. Build confidence for success. Build confidence for success. Build confidence for success. As we round up this morning, why do we pray? We pray to assure ourselves for our future. Prayer assured you of how you're going to end. Praise the Lord. Amen. May God give us understanding Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. God will give us understanding. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Stand up for your feet, everybody, and I want us to pray in Holy Ghost right now. You're praying, Lord, every every Hebrews chapter 12, from verse 1. When we are faced with many witnesses. Hebrews to the Therefore, we also, since we are surrounded by surrounded so great a cloud of witnesses, witnesses. let us yeah. be aside every way. Uh, you see that? Which way is Prayerlessness the is a weight. And I've said it before. The opposite of prayerlessness is, of, of prayer is what? It's robbery. And when you, when you are robbed, the weight of lack and what is put upon you. Say you have saved for a fault. One million dollars, and you bought a house, or you buy something powerful, and they will come to come and steal it. But you know what happened? Uh, Proverbs chapter 6, please. I think it was, is it verse 23 or verse 30? He said, When the thief is caught, he <laughs> will pay back what? Sevenfold. I think it's prayer chapter 6. When he. People do not despise a thief. Oh, verse, if, please, let people know. Proverbs 6, verse 30 to verse 31. 30, yes. People do not despise a thief yes. if he steals to satisfy himself when he is starving. Mm -hmm. Yet when he is found, he must restore sevenfold. He must he restore may sevenfold. have to give up all the substance of his house. Yes. Amen. You know what happened? Everything the devil has stolen from you. As we pray in the Holy Ghost right now, they shall be restored with speech. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let's stand up and let's pray in the Holy Ghost and want to make. Libra and no shatana brakin tala so teni bihi daba. Bara do ni bihi dabo shatana bada kini tala u shatana bade bo ni bihi daba. Zala hana bala kuskin tele bo hunda la shatana bara. Ezelo brande bihi tala bo shatana bale katara shatana bale. Imbra hana la saton de bihi shatana bala katari. Ezoli imbra hana la saton de bihi tala bale katara bala. Ezule bra kata la shatana bale kato shere brehita zelo rinde brehinda la shatana bala zelo bra kenta la shatana bale zelo brehinda la shutenge beli jabala zelo kanta shenta la bala kato shenge ne brehinda la bo shatana bala ezele brehita ezele brehita ezele brehita ezele brehita zale bra kato shenta le brehita la shatana bale ezule brehita la shutale bra kenta la sakata bala. He brought on to Zalim to come to the Shadi Baraya Bada. I'm bracking to last to take the lead of Bada Barud. It's only breaking to the Shadi Baloka to Shilly Badaka to the Baraka to the Pete de Belida. He brought on to Zabra came to last at the Bale. In bringing to last at the bus. In bracking to last at Ada. In bracking to last at Ada. In bracking to last at Ada. Rodi Baloko to Shilly Belia Badaka to Lasha Katada Bale Katozade. Haranda, brada, bada, potu, jenebe, itala, boshi. 
Ambro Canto Zelebri Hitala Vani Ketele Beridaba Zala Bradin Kato Shala Valeria Andara Vadu Kato Neshitene Berida Katala Shatada Valeri Hembra Kentala Shatanebra Anla Klantos Kentele Velo Ezelebri Hita Ezelebri Hita Ezelebri Hita Ezelebri Hita Ezelebri Hita Ezelebri Hita Father we thank you Lord Jesus In Jesus mighty name we pray Amen The song says to the verse 18 that you read He said if I had any iniquity in my heart The Lord will know what so do you know what to bring hindrance to prayer? Iniquity. Sin. You might think that you are it's anger. It's not anger, it's devil that wants to destroy your life. One thing I'm very sure that I've proven over time, if you don't know how to control your emotion, your emotion will put you in devastation. There is no I don't see somebody who cannot control himself or herself that becomes great in life. Do you know what? Uh, what do they call it? Uh, Estelasis uh, uh, call it. Help me to look for it. <laughs> you know what he said? He said, anger lies at the bottom of the pool. Because you know what happened? Anger use your hand to destroy what's in that same hand that's built. If you cannot control your emotion, I promise you, you will end in devastation. So, you might call it anger. It's not anger. Is that you, you know, you <laughs> is that you want to be stupid. Devil will make sure to know you. you the devil will never come with your strength. It comes with your weakness. When you know that if your husband gets you angry a lot, that's what makes you to talk. We make you to use him. If you know your, your, your son gets you angry, so you can talk. Because let me tell you something. <laughs> Only a foolish parent will react when the student has done something bad. I'm telling you. Because what happened? This is how the devil works. And I'm telling you, when the devil wants to target one thing, he targets another thing. It's a, it's a strategy of war. He knows that when... <laughs> how do I put this? Holy Spirit. This is what, what, this is what his target is. But the, he knows the, this has a connection with A is the target, but B is next to it. There's a connection. So the devil will pull a strings from B. Because when you pull a string from B, what happens to A? A will react to when he reacts, what happens? He gets his attention. So then we never go straight to you. It comes through the person that's connected to you. Amen. So what I'm talking about is that if you are wise, when you know how they will operate, you will know that you are the one. When they will want to destroy the entire family, he will look for somebody who has a problem and pull the string of another person. So when you pull the string, the person that has a problem will pull the string. What happens? Do you know how people divorce? Do you know how people are in trouble? Don't give us understanding. What am I talking about? Prayer helps you to control your emotion. When you pray and pray and pray until you are tired, you can't come out and be arguing with people. When people just say something, just... You know, somebody called me yesterday, and he was talk, 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 talk. Hey! Somebody said... I said, listen to this. You cannot be echoing what somebody say and not that thing will not come to pass. One thing I've come to understand in my life is to know how to ignore the devil. <laughs> you don't know how to do it. Devil will pull you down into fire. That will not be your portion in the mighty name of What am I telling you this morning? No matter what has, devil is trying to use against you. If you can pray, your emotions shall be controlled. Then prayer puts your emotion under what? Did you don't find the that I tell you to do not are, testing in your spirit to be angry. Ecclesiastes 7 9. Yes. Do not test in your spirit to be angry. Yes. For anger lies in the bosom of the You know, it's at the bottom, it's at the, it's at the source of the food. That will not be your portion. Mm -hmm. I want you to this one, I want you to know that uh, for your prayer to be answered, it means there is no iniquity what? in your heart. Mm -hmm. That's Psalm 63, verse 18. Amen. 63. 66 verse 18. Thank you, man. Psalm 66 verse 18. Amen. So if you are here this morning or wherever you are around the world, and you know you want to connect and get rid of trouble in your heart, you lift up your left hand up and put your right that Can we get the communion, please? All right. And on your, on your chest. And let us pray this prayer. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, mm -hmm. say this prayer after me, Lord Jesus, I'm all yours. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry that I've been a sinner, knowingly or knowingly. I'm here this morning requesting for your forgiveness. 
because your son has paid the price for my forgiveness. Forgive me and make me a new creature in Christ Jesus. All things that have passed away, all new things that everything that become new, all things that pass away and everything that become new. Today I begin to live the life that you have designed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. One thing I want you to know in life is this. God is not a stupid God. Tomorrow is going to be 6 p.m. Nigerian time. Whatever you are in the world, you need to connect. It's a total prayer for us for restoration. Amen. Amen. It's going to be 7 p.m. Nigerian time. Sorry. 6 p.m. Nigerian time and 1 a.m. Nigerian time. Right? 1 a.m. This is 6 hours different. So when it's a, we are doing 7 p.m. It's going to be 1 a.m. in Nigeria, which I don't expect you to join. But if you can, why not? So, but the, the one we do in the afternoon, 12 Central Time, is going to be 6 p.m. Nigerian time. So let us connect. Amen. Mm -hmm. We bless this communion today mm -hmm. in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. It is turned to be the flesh mm -hmm. and the blood of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ said, whoever eats my flesh and drink my blood will live by me as I live by the Father. Mm -hmm. By this communion, there will be total restoration. Mm -hmm. Energy to pray mm -hmm. in Jesus' mighty name. Mm -hmm. This is turned to be the flesh of Jesus mm -hmm. in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 to announce to somebody it's going to be the seven days of total restoration prayer 6 p.m. Nigerian time and 1 a.m. Nigerian time amen, amen. it's starting on the 15th and it's going to last for seven days it's going to be maybe 22 amen and so some people the word is coming that's what we heard it God be help us in the mighty name of Jesus amen. lift up your hand I bless you today with the blessing of God amen, amen. May the hand of God rest upon you. Amen. May the spirit of grace and supplication rest upon you. Amen. May everything that is on hold in your life that needed to happen this week must happen. Amen. Amen. May every agent of the kingdom of darkness, that is the tool in the hand of the devil, may their purpose be thwarted. Amen. May they be given another assignment. Amen. May they live your life alone. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I pray for speed of accomplishment upon your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. This week is your week. Amen. It's a week of your testimony. Amen. It's a week of your good news. Amen. It's a week of your greatness. Amen. May wherever you have been commanded like David before, may you be called for anointing for greatness. Amen. May you be anointed for your throne. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. May the favor that come upon Esther come upon your life. Amen. May the boldness, anointing to do great things that come upon the world come upon your life. Amen. May the capacity to speak for God's children, to speak for God's people and purpose, that is at work upon general major kind of bendigo, the one that's a work on David, the one that's a work on the Mordecai, may he come upon you. Amen. Amen. Because David lost no war, may you never lose any battle. Amen. Because Solomon fight no battle, may you never fight any battle. Amen. Amen. May the peace of God locate you. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Put your hand to God and say, God, we thank you. God, we thank because you. Because what you have done today, Amen. in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. I will say, surely, Amen. God's goodness and mercy shall follow us. All the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. It's my turn to shine. It's, it's my year of life. By the empowerment of Holy Spirit, we will rise and shine. Give somebody a knife and say, I'm a prayer machine. I'm a prayer machine.